Conveyor cart insert. Make sure to give yourself as much space as possible for the parts. You may need an area approximately 10 feet by 5 feet. Lay out all parts on the floor for easy access to each part. Once you have all parts laid out, check against the assembly instructions to confirm receipt of all parts. The conveyor cart insert already includes the bottom and side brackets. A separate bag includes two top brackets and two screws, which are used to connect the conveyor cart insert to the plastic sidewalls. Place the plastic sidewalls onto the roll base. Do not tighten the wing nuts to the roll base yet. When placing the side rails on the roll base, make sure that the labels are always facing out. Remove the screws in the center of the bottom crossbar of the plastic sidewalls for now. Once the side rails are in place, simply hang the conveyor cart insert over the center knobs on the plastic side rails. The conveyor cart insert is centered by placing the cutouts in the side brackets over the center knobs on the plastic sidewalls. Next, loosely tighten the top brackets with the wing nuts to the top of the conveyor cart insert and center the insert between the side rails by using the cutout in the top brackets. Align the holes in the center of the bottom crossbar on the plastic sidewall with the holes in the bottom bracket of the conveyor cart insert. With the previously removed wing nuts, screw the plastic sidewalls tightly onto the roll base through the bottom bracket of the conveyor cart insert. Push the center top of the plastic sidewalls as closely as possible to the side of the conveyor cart insert and tighten the top screws all the way. Next, slide the trays onto the cart. Each level can hold up to two trays. Continue with the remaining trays following the same process. Handles are optional for the conveyor cart. Assembly is complete.